right, I'm here with Rafael Nadal. Rafael, uh, first of all, congratulations on your run so far. Tell me how you felt in uh, your round of 16 match. Well, I feel unbeatable. I'm hitting my forehand incredible. I feel like I'm using very much toss bin and opening up the court very well. So Uncle Tony and Carlos Mario and myself, we've been working very hard, so I'm playing very good. Very I good. noticed that in your next match, uh, you play a young Russian, Andrei Rublev, a future Grand Slam champion, I believe. How do you prepare for playing someone you don't know much about? Well, you know, I just go to the locker room with Uncle Tony and Carlos Moya, and we just go through the game plan, just like you did in your career, John. You know, uh -huh. we just sit down and try to work on my aggression, figure out what I'm going to do in the match, but I think that he's a very good player, so I need to play aggressive. I need to start step in on the court, and hopefully for me, it will be a very, very good victory for me. Well, listen, finally, um, the pink. I've noticed that you've been wearing a lot of pink during the tournament. And anything behind that that we should know about? Well, for me, I love the pink very much. It's one of my favorite colors. Uncle Tony likes pink very much. So for me, I have to wear pink because Uncle Tony tell me to wear pink. So for him, I have to do what Uncle Tony say. Because for me, he's one of my favorite people. So if Uncle Tony say wear pink, Rafa is going to wear pink. Well, all I can say is that if you uh, wear pink and have a yellow racket, you're going to be a pretty macho guy. So. Um, Rafa, good luck. Uh, play well and uh, nice speaking to you here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.